if you've lived for a considerable number of years, you would find that most of the things you learn in school are not applicable in everyday life. As you go through life, you find yourself learning a lot of things that were not even mentioned in the four walls of a classroom. So in this video, I'll be talking about 10 lessons that are not taught in school, lessons that most of the time you get to experience on your own. But if you are proactive or if you're lucky, you get to learn them from other people's experiences. And the first one is life isn't fair. You see, when you're in school, you're taught that if you study hard, if you go to class, if you pay attention and do what you're supposed to do, you are going to get good grades. You are going to excel in your studies. But that's not how it works in the real world. That's not how it works in real life. In real life, there's no fairness. You don't always have to work so hard. You might work so hard and not get great results and the next person might not work as hard as you and they would get great results. That isn't fair, is it? But fortunately, or fortunately, such is life. There is no fairness. It is what it is, okay? So you can't say, I am going to outwork every other person so that I will have the best life or the best results. No, you might outwork other people, but their results or the quality of your life would be better than yours. It is what it is. The second lesson is that people are driven by self-interest. In other words, people are selfish the earlier you you understand that the better you see most of the time when people do things they do it to meet their own needs to fulfill their own desires their own interests even when it looks like they're doing it for you that is not always the case at the end of the day if you looked closely you would see that somehow what they are doing benefits them if it didn't benefit them, they wouldn't do it in the first place. Okay, so the earlier you come to the realization that humans are innately selfish, the better. That way you're not surprised when people do things that don't sit well with you. That way you don't have unnecessary expectations of people. You take whatever you see with uh, from people without letting it bother you so much at the end of the day people are driven by self-interest the third lesson is that good academic grades don't guarantee success oh yes so you're in school and you're told to read hard to study your books blah 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 that at the end of the day it's going to pay off don't get me wrong sometimes it pays off for some people but not for everybody, okay? There are people who who worked their asses off at school, like they worked so hard and graduated with the best grades. But right now, they are not so successful. They're not, as a matter of fact, their counterparts who weren't as hard working as they were in school are a lot more successful than them, okay? So academic brilliance or intelligence does not equate to success in life. Yes, it's good to know that you're smart, you're book smart, you're intelligent and all of that. But at the end of the day, it is not a guarantee that you're going to succeed in the real world. It's a totally different game. So while you are you know, working hard to get good grades, you, sh you should just keep it in mind, like bear in mind that when you get out there, you might not necessarily get the the, the rewards you, you desire just because you have good grades. You might also need to work extra hard and just find a way to get the success that you desire. The fourth lesson is that failure doesn't mean you aren't good enough. When you're in school, 
um, you, you, you're told to read hard so you can pass, you know, very well. And when you fail, they make you feel like you are a no good, like, you know, nothing. Otherwise, you wouldn't have failed. But that's not the case, really. In the real world, when you fail, that could just be a sign that you need to re-strategize. That could just be a sign that you aren't there yet. It could be a sign that what you are trying to do isn't for you, that you need to try something else. And when you keep trying, you can actually succeed. You can even do a lot better than people who have been doing that thing for so long. So contrary to what we're taught in school that failure is bad and when we fail we're not good enough in the real world failure can actually be to your advantage because when you fail you get an opportunity to learn and when you try that thing again you know what didn't work earlier and this time around you avoid it it becomes a problem when you don't learn from your failures when you don't learn from your failures it means you're going to keep failing because the things that are making you feel are things that you're going to continue to repeat instead of avoiding them, instead of coming up with new ways to actually, you know, bypass them in order to achieve the success you desire. The fifth lesson you don't get told in school is that nobody can love you as much as you can love yourself. We're all going around looking for love in all the wrong places. We seek the validation of others so much. It's like when someone loves you, especially someone you love and care about, you want them to love you. And when they love you, that is everything to you. However, the moment they stop loving you, you become a mess. Here's the thing, okay? Nobody can love you as much as you can love yourself. The greatest love you can ever have is the one that you can give yourself, okay? Learn to love yourself, learn to take good care of yourself because at the end of the day, if you don't love yourself, you can't love someone else. You can't give what you don't have. You can only fill someone else's cup when your cup is full. You can't fill someone else's cup from an empty cup, okay? So you need to love yourself. Stop uh, trying to get others to love you, to validate you, and to make you feel worthy. You need to leave all of that to yourself before you even love someone else. Ensure that you have given yourself enough love, that you have so much love to go around. Otherwise, you are just going to drain yourself to fatigue. The sixth life lesson you can learn is that learning from the mistakes of others saves you a lot of trouble. Yes, experience is a good teacher but it's not always the best teacher that's a misconception okay you don't need to wait until you experience something before learning from it you can learn from other people's experiences you can learn from the experiences of your friends your colleagues the people around you you need to be observant when someone you know does something that that uh, didn't turn out well what do you do? You learn from that experience. You apply it to your own life so that you don't make the same mistake. By learning from the experiences of others, you're able to jump a lot of hurdles. You're able to bypass a lot of mistakes. You're able to, you know, make better choices. You're able to, you know, avoid a whole lot of stressful situations. Okay. You need to be observant. You need to put your ear to the ground, you need to see how other people are navigating life, especially older people. Um, the older one is, the more years and time they have had on earth and the more experiences they have probably had. So you need to surround yourself with older people and learn from their experiences, listen to their stories and how those stories turned out by picking uh, lessons from those experiences, you are going to save yourself from a lot of trouble. The seventh life lesson you don't learn in school is that you are a product of your choices. Believe it or not, the person you are right now is a product of the choices you have made up until now, okay? The choices you make every day might seem so little, but in the grand scheme of things, they make up 
a bunch they make up a whole and they make up who you are becoming so who you are right now is a reflection of the choices you have made all your life it means that if you had made different choices your life would be different right now so if you're not satisfied with the quality of your life right now it means that you need to stop making the same choices you've always made you need to understand the pattern of the choices and start to do things differently however if you're satisfied if you're pleased with your life right now it means that you're doing a good job you just need to double down on your choices like continue on that path every choice you make in life matters even the smallest ones you have no idea how they matter because one small choice leads to another small choice and before you know it you have the big choices that you have made and resulted in the person that you become so before you make the next choice no matter how little it is bear in mind that it is going to be responsible for how you turn out and you need to know you need to be sure for a fact that you are going to like the impact of that choice on your life the eighth life lesson you don't learn in school is that you can achieve anything you set your mind to you see the way school is structured it, it, it feels like if you're not a certain way you can't be successful if you're not intelligent you can't be successful if you're not book smart you can't be successful and those who are very intelligent and book smart are given a preferential treatment over others but that's not how life works really with determination and perseverance you can achieve anything you set your mind to in life you just keep pushing and even if it doesn't work the first time the second time the third time you keep trying as long as you are innovative as long as you're taking feedback you're trying to do things differently it's only a matter of time before things turn out well it's only a matter of time before you start getting positive results really if you put your mind to something and you believe that you can achieve it you believe that it is possible after all if other people have achieved it it's a sign that it is doable it's a sign that it's not impossible you just need to keep pushing and eventually you will get that it doesn't matter what the current situation may look like it doesn't matter at all as long as you keep pushing as long as you keep striving it's only a matter of time before you get there the ninth lesson you don't learn in school is that you are the only person you can rely on 100 percent it doesn't matter whom you think uh, loves you it doesn't matter how close you are to them it doesn't matter at all at the end of the day the only person you can completely rely on is yourself you need to understand that otherwise you you you, you feel disappointed when people don't turn up for you you feel disappointed when people behave in ways you you know you didn't expect no those people don't owe you anything i don't care who they are to you at the end of the day they owe you nothing okay they they're not obligated to do anything for you you need to understand that the only person you can count on to show up for you is yourself it, it, it's you all right that way you don't have unnecessary expectations that way you don't put so much hope you know you don't rely on people so much and when you don't do that you save yourself the trouble of disappointment okay you need to understand that the only person you can count on to show up for you to be there for you to turn up for you is you with that mindset you limit yourself of disappointment because trust me people are going to disappoint you you know why it's not their job to, to not disappoint you it's not their job to please you humans are innately selfish at the end of the day everybody will do what suits them the most and if, if it doesn't suit them you can't blame them turning up for you may not always suit them so they are going to do what suits them at every point in time the tenth lesson you don't learn in school is that life is not a competition in school 
that there are positions uh, you either come first or second or third or or whatever you're, you're you're the last person in class and everybody thinks you're a failure but in life it's different it's not a competition everybody's timeline is different everybody's destiny is different okay you guys might be age mates you guys might have been born on the same day but guess what your timelines are different so you don't need to compare yourself to other people because you are uniquely you you are here on a journey meant for you whatever you do is peculiar to you you need to understand that with your journey comes your own timing okay things are going to happen for you at the right time good things might happen for others sooner than they happen for you it doesn't mean that uh, you're not good enough it doesn't mean that those good things aren't going to happen for you too you just need to understand that it's all about timing at the right time what is meant for you will come to you you don't even need to try too hard as long as it's meant for you it will come to you in the end what will be will be it might sound so unreasonable it might sound like a big bad lie but hey at the end of the day what will be will be there you have it the 10 lessons you don't learn in school share your thoughts on, on the topic really um are there any other important life lessons you think uh, i missed out on i'd like to 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 hear them feel free to drop a comment below and let me know what you think my name is chris and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already what are you waiting for go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification so you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video see you in the next one